hi there welcome back to simple or difficult in this week's tutorial we'll be creating floors for our project in revit in few steps i will show you how you can add floors to your project models in revit and also i'll be giving you some important tips as it regards to floor placement in revit so without any further ado let's get to it as i said in an earlier tutorial all elements have a level they are attached to when they are placed in the project model. Unlike other elements, a floor is associated with a level. To place a floor on the ground floor level of the model, double click the ground floor level plan in the project browser. Floors are a sketch based element. The floor tool like the topo surface tool is also model. That means to exit this mode you must click either on the finish floor or cancel floor all right let's go ahead and select the floor tool now we are in a sketch mode before we proceed look at the type selector and confirm that the floor type selected is a generic 150 mm floor type all right now we want to sketch the perimeter of the floor and we are going to make sure that it has a closed loop of lines. Like we did in the previous tutorial while adding the building pad, we are going to use some of the walls placed in the model to define the shape of the floor. And to do this, we are going to use the pick walls tool from the draw panel to help sketch the floor perimeter. Now here is a tip for you. Using the pick walls tool, also create a constraint between the floor edge and the wall. What that means is that when you use the pick walls tool to sketch the floor perimeter and the wall is moved to accommodate a design change, the floor will also automatically move with it. Alright, so we are going to click each wall to use them as the basis for the sketch boundary. So what are these? The span direction of the floor is indicated by this parallel line shown near the sketch line of the floor. In this case, the floor is a generic floor so the span direction is not critical. If we need to change the span direction, we then have to select the span direction tool on the draw panel. The tool is what is used to assign span direction. Alright, we need to sketch additional lines to complete the sketch of the floor boundary to a closed loop and successfully create the floor. To do this, in the draw panel, let's go ahead and select the line segment tool. We are going to use the trim tool also to clean up the sketches, forming a closed loop boundary for the floor. When the sketch is complete, we want to click the check mark on the model panel to save the changes and exit the sketch mode. Okay? In the warning message about cutting geometry, please select no. Now let's repeat the process for the first floor plan. Now let's go to a 3D view so you can see the first floor. All right. All right, that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe. Not only that, ring the bell so you don't miss any of our future tutorials. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in my next video.